what differentiates the WatchMate is that it's a dedicated solution for, for AIS and for collision avoidance. So uh, unlike layers of clutter that might appear on, a, on another screen, this gives you the ability to focus just on the vessels that are the highest risk for a collision. And it also allows you to look at with a glance very quickly. Are there any vessels around me? Is there any issues that I need to be concerned about with respect to collision? The way it works is it, it makes a very easy to use display, which is patterned a little bit like a radar. So it would be very friendly to people. It doesn't use radar, of course, as a technology. But uh, that's the pattern so that people can understand it. You're in the center of the screen. The vessels are shown around you. And there's the two buttons for controlling how you pass through the vessels or how you select each vessel. And the next button takes you to the highest priority target. And what we mean by that is the target that's the highest risk or the ship that's the highest risk for collision. It's not necessarily the nearest one. And in this example, uh, the nearest one is moving away from us, so it's not selected. It displays the range and the speed of the vessel at the bottom, the name of the vessel right away, and then how close it's going to come to you, the closest point of approach and the time to closest point of approach. And uh, just so what that means is that if my vessel carries on and the other vessel carry on at the same course and speed, how close will they come to each other and at what point in time? So in this example, this vessel is just about four miles away from us. It's moving at 12 knots. Uh, but it will come about a quarter mile from us, and that'll happen in 15 minutes. So that's the information we have there. If you select it, you get up a screen that shows all the detail. And this is the information that comes from the AIS system. It, uh, of course, shows you where to find the vessel. So we have his bearing and his range and so on. We also have his course, his heading, his speed, his rate of turn, if he's going left or right. And then a bunch of information that we call static information. And that's the type of the vessel, what cargo it has, uh, perhaps its destination and estimated time of arrival. And then some notes indicating if it's restricted in its ability to maneuver, for instance. Uh, another thing that you can do that's very unique to the Watchmate is you can ask it what's going to happen at the time we're closest to each other. We know that we're going to be uh, a quarter mile apart in 14 minutes, but where will we be in relationship to each other? So I press this button and it draws me a plot showing just the two vessels, myself and the other one, and it indicates that he's a third of a mile behind us. So he will pass behind us, we will in essence have passed ahead of him.